As you approach the system, you will see two monitors, the interface device, a keyboard, a joystick, a manifold with syringe, embolic protection devices, a balloon deployment device, various catheters and wires, and a dual foot pedal. To use the system, log in with the user ID and password. Choose a module and select Continue to proceed to the content menu of available cases. Select a case and review the patient history. The pre-procedure tab lists patient preparations. Select Continue and wait a few moments for the case to load. The primary monitor will display real-time fluoroscopy imaging with a C-arm angle indicator, vital signs, EKG, and pressure wave tracings. The Assistant menu provides selection of guide wires, catheters, balloons, stents, embolic protection devices, and adjunct therapies. For catheters, you will need to select the curve name, size, and diameter. For balloons and stents, you can choose from various diameters and lengths. The secondary monitor displays either patient history, cine loops with playback options, still images, or 3D physiological anatomy. It also displays CR positioning in relation to the patient. Road mapping and DSA are available in certain modules. After selecting a case and reviewing the patient information, you can proceed to choose the instruments. Insert the catheter into the slit until you feel resistance. Gentle rotation of the tool will facilitate the insertion. Advance the instruments into the slit as you would in a procedure. Repeat these steps with the other devices. Use the appropriate foot pedal, either fluoroscopy or cine, to see the movement of the instrument. You can inject contrast at any time using the syringe. The valves on the manifold can be manipulated but will not be tracked by the simulation. To capture a cine run, depress the foot pedal while injecting contrast. You can move the C-arm to obtain additional image angles by manipulating the joystick. The angles can be visualized directly on the flora screen or in the lower left corner as represented by the C-arm icon. Once the diagnostic portion of the procedure has been completed, withdraw the instruments. By selecting Still, you may review the images captured during the exam. Measurements of the vessel length and diameter can be calculated to assist in making decisions on the interventional devices to be used. When inserting a new device, advance until you feel resistance. Navigate the selected catheter into position. Select a guide wire or distal embolic protection device. Then navigate through the anatomy. Contrast can be injected to verify guide wire position and placement. The wire can be rotated using a torque device to steer the wire. Once the guide wire has been seated properly, you can select either a balloon or stent and deploy the device. The balloon and or stent can be inflated using the balloon inflation device. Note the inflation on screen and release the balloon when appropriate. Overinflating the balloon beyond the recommended pressure will rupture the balloon. During the procedure, complications may arise. Note the vital signs as well as complaints from the patient. The type of complication will dictate the approach for resolution. There are a variety of medications to select, and one should follow recommended guidelines and protocols in order to resolve the complication. Some complications will automatically lead to an end game scenario. Other complications left untreated will lead to patient expiration. Once you are satisfied with the results of the case, select Continue to view a summarized evaluation and detailed logs.